What's up guys, this is Dave from The Disorderly. I'm joined by Ash. Uh, we just wanted to do kind of a shorter, quick follow-up video to our Galaxy's Edge uh, kind of first impressions video. Uh, we went back a second time. This time we went at night. So we had, the first time we went when uh, in the previous video, we had the 8 a.m. reservation. So we had um, time from eight to noon. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of were forced to kind of head out. Not really, we kind of left early. Um, and then for this reservation, we were eight to close to midnight. Um, so very different experiences, very different kind of feels, I think. Um, so we wanted to do a little bit of a follow-up video just to kind of go over some little tips and things that we kind of learned. Um, if you're planning a trip and you're kind of trying to figure out how all this crazy nonsense works, we're here to just try to help answer any kind of questions you might have, save yourself some grief, things that um, are really high priority on your list. It might make the difference between you getting to do that or not. Um, so some tips and things for the rides and, and stuff like that. So hopefully we can kind of help answer some, some questions and kind of fill you in on all the craziness. Um, and so a big chunk of this video is the lightsabers. So with that, we'll get on into it. So we decided that this trip was going to start with getting a lightsaber. We decided to divide and conquer a little bit and I went straight for the lightsaber reservation. We were about midway through the pack of um, everyone getting in at eight. I think we got in line around 7.30 and stood there for a half an hour once we got in, I kind of, we, we were in Critter Country. I hugged the left and <laughs> just went for it. Got in line, got a little kind of laminated ticket. They asked me how many I wanted to build. We just did one. Um, and then they came around and gave you your options of the four types of lightsabers you want to build. So we, they had the different cards. You could look at your different options. And then once you picked that, you got to up to the payment. You paid for it and you got a return time. The receipt does not have your return time. So I asked that and borrowed a pen and wrote it down. So our return time was 1025. That whole process probably took 40 minutes. Yeah. So our reservation started at eight, but we didn't get a time to come back until 10 25 so that's yeah. kind of to give you an idea how long you might have to wait um and things like that but i saw reports that you know i you know just kind of keeping an eye on twitter and things like that people were saying you know hey uh we were told we have to wait the entire reservation or i heard you had to wait in, in the holding pen the entire time um wasn't the case like we were both kind of out running around waiting and they actually told us like oh you guys are early like you guys can go get a snack go to the bathroom go to yeah. the refresher we were like 15 minutes early so. i didn't want to miss our time because you pay for it in advance you get your pen and you come back yeah they were they were like thank oh thanks for coming early and you know not being late and because yeah. there's no way once you're once the process starts there's no way you're getting yeah they're they're I just don't, there's no so way that, you, that maybe once, they, yeah, I don't know. Once our time was there, we sat there for probably 20 minutes before they even took us into the room. Yeah, we were, because I was the plus one, basically, and they kind of moved us from the larger space into kind of like a holding pen that was kind of fenced off. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's right next to it. It's literally just, just a little little closed off area. Um and then you, we sat in there for about, what, yeah, 15, 20 At minutes? At least 20 minutes, because we didn't go in until, no. I think, 1045. Yeah, and then they kind of put you in. So, um, you know, not a ton of, you know, waiting around. And no, I mean... So you, you paid for it, you came back at your time slot, and then you start building your lightsaber. Yeah. And we, we, we didn't know if we wanted to do it. You know, Ash found like this certain style that i think she really enjoyed so mm -hmm. I, I i you know i might get one of the legacy ones i might get uh, that was our hang up is that we weren't terribly thrilled with all of the options that you had because you picked one and then you only had some options yeah so but we're still kind of like because uh, we're still kind of unclear on how exactly some of it works because a guy ash was saying that um a guy behind you yeah right, in like 
when they getting... went went around asking for how many you're going to build, one of the guys said four. And the the gentleman who worked there, the cast member, was like, four? Are you sure? He's like, yeah, four. But he was standing by himself, so I don't know if anyone joined him or if he was literally building one of each. I don't know how you could do that. Yeah, there was no one in the room with us that was building four. Or more so, than one. So maybe he was in the one after us or, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, because he was I don't decently know. behind me. Yeah, but... Uh, it was interesting because the poor guy, I'm kind of behind Ash, I'm filming, and the guy to the left, God bless him, he's just struggling, man. He was, they, they try to kind of help you out and ask you, hey, how are you, how are you doing? You got but any it's questions? not a step-by-step, like, handhold process. They're like, these are your different pieces. This is how they go on. You start, as you can see, with the middle, the, I don't know, what kind of, what they call these kind of the the activators or something something i don't remember everything has a name (laughs) and so i've watched videos of people making these so i had a pretty good idea of what i wanted and how it goes on so you start with the piece of the the core of it facing a specific way then you have to put your kyber crystal in which i have to say is probably the hardest thing because it's a spring-loaded thing and if you have one of these thin pointy kyber crystals right. because the, the kyber crystals are not all uniform there's different cuts and <clears throat> excuse me we have i think we have now we have in a couple different trips we've just picked them up one of every, uh, color. One of every color and then we got a blue one in this one so that kind of completed the set but we have the majority is kind of like a thinner, triangular, yeah. sharper cut. And then there's kind of a thicker, nubblier, kind of nuggety type cut. Which is way easier which would, to put is, is into easier, the lightsaber. Yeah. So as we've played with the lightsaber and put every crystal in it just to see the different sounds and things like that, the nubblier, it's obviously easier. But uh, Which is really cool, having... Having this, I mean, we were looking at the legacy lightsabers because we did like the way they looked more, but being able to put all the different kyber crystals into the lightsaber Mm -hmm. is a really cool element. And they all have kind of a different launch activation sound. They kind of have a different static sound where it's just humming. And the the swoosh sound sounds different. So it's like, they're they're not like slightly different. Some of them are Mm -hmm. super duper different. Yeah. The white one is very tingy and the red one is very dark sounding. Like, they're very different, which I I feel, you know, just adds an element of fun. Yeah. But as you can see, like, you have all these options. You have four options for your main part of the lightsaber and you can see i'm playing with all of them because the, the guy explained that they're all interchangeable there aren't a bottom pieces or top pieces there's four pieces you just put them on and, the right direction right so they can go on top bottom yeah. you can do any combination so you can kind of you know like pick your different emitter and you don't your... have all the time in the world but you have enough time to pretty much do every combo and see right. what it looks like right the gentleman next to us, I don't know if he'd never seen a video, didn't he really had know. Never, it, he was not ready for this. No, he wasn't. So if you're going to do this, if you don't mind this, the experience, well, you're and you wouldn't watching be watching this, this. You're already watching this. But watch a couple of videos just so you kind of know what happens. Um, I knew that I was going to put the, um, the tooth at the very bottom of my lightsaber. Um, I pretty much, ha- I, I ended up doing exactly what I had planned. Um... I did have a hard time getting this threaded on correctly. And then the, uh, the, the supervisor kind of head chick came over and the main out. cast member, who is pretty much the actor in this, she does it for me. She does tell me that she got the um, what? Uh, she pulled the tooth herself. She pulled the tooth herself. That's Which exactly they, what she. They, I've heard several people say that. Yeah. So she she was very much overacting, but you know. It was still a fun experience. So once you're done, they take your extra pieces. They you're, are not for you're you. Done. You're yeah. done. They're like they make it clear you're done. Pick this. Okay, are you done? You happy with it? Okay, and then they remove it from you, and they, yeah. you know, thankfully because I think people would just sit there all day and overthink it. Yeah, and it's um, it's very much timed. Like they have prompts inside, 
I don't know if this part is a little less time, and then they be, hit a it's button. All little buttons and stuff. And then they and say, so, "Okay, yeah. we're ready for the next part." But there's like there's um, audio that comes on. You can see there's a flashing light in the background. That's guaranteed for the cast member mm -hmm. um, hosting this and doing the speech or whatever. It's a little countdown, yeah. So right now they're just they're attaching all the hilts to the blades. Doing a whole little speech here. Uh, it now turns green because here is Yoda. Yoda's come out. He's come and to bless our lightsabers, <laughs> <laughs> empower even the, the force. Even the evil ones, you know. Yes, um, but I mean, it was. I've seen videos, and you do see people. They feel rushed. Um, well, just have a game just plan. Have like a there's plan. enough out yeah. there. You know what I mean? Do you, like have an idea, and I think a lot of people go. You know, well, because you can't play with all four. You no. have to pick. They give you a pin. You yes. wear the pin. They see the pin. They hand you the set based on what you pick when you pay. Right? Yeah. So you can't. And you can change. Didn't some guy? Probably. Us? You could probably ask them to change. They probably would swap your pen out. But ideally, I don't think they want you to because they put in which one you purchase. Right. Um, which is a, a way for them to be ready for you I think when they you must, come They in. must have just four. And then they just hand you the drawer that you pick. Probably. They're probably four underneath the drawer. It was a pretty smooth operation. You know what I mean? Nothing nothing and seemed too crazy. No. This part here where everyone lights their lightsaber and pick them up. I'm not going to lie. I am. I feel like a kid. It was pretty fun. Um, the room is very dark as you can tell. And the lightsabers are very bright. And um, there was only... I just wanted to say there's only one child who was one, actually like, in there with us. 12 year old we're in our early 30s boy. early early 30s and yeah. we were probably some of the youngest people in there a lot of older fans. all adults yeah the guy next to us was an older guy a lot of 50 like, or older dude. yeah, yeah. Dad. you know yeah. what i mean like older but fan making dads. this for themselves completely. right C clearly you know so, you know, you light your lightsaber, they give you a whole speech about the Force and using your lightsaber. And the blah, guy blah, did blah. not give an F because he just activates it. He starts waving yeah. it for his <laughs> wife who's on the camera. And she's, like, giving her, like, heartfelt speech. The guy's just swinging it. He doesn't care. He's like, yeah, <laughs> About whatever. not using no. it and really, I, like, uh... It was great. He just didn't get... He was just an old guy who did not give an F. But you know what? That's the whole point of this place. Like... It, it's to have fun and be a kid. Like, I don't know. I, I very much enjoyed it. I know it was $200, which was a hang-up at first. But if you have a, a combination and you have a thing that you like, this is a fun experience. And the product is heavy. It's yeah. a hefty item. No, it's, I mean... It's uncomfortable to carry around after a while because you're just yeah. like, damn, this is heavy. Because the blade, I'm, as you can see me, I'm, we're walking around the marketplace now. I'm like, what do I do with this? Like, we, they give you a bag, but like, I, I didn't want to put it away. Right. Like, I just made it, so I want to hold it. Right. But you can't do much else. You're okay. holding this thing, and like, I'm a bigger guy, so I could you just hold it around with one hand, swing but it I around, turn it hands. over. Yeah. Like, it's not light. I don't no. know. We haven't I, I, weighed it yet. No, but it's it's made of metal. Yeah, everything you know? is metal. You know, even the the toothy part feels. Um, it doesn't even feel like metal. It doesn't feel like plastic, which is what I liked the most. It's, it's some funky material, but That's even cool. the the leather felt kind of not exactly like leather, but maybe like a kind of like a rubbery. The tooth part, the the tooth section that we put on mm -hmm. towards the bottom has kind of like a. Like a spongy kind of like but it feel, feels but it's soft. Yeah, it's very, it's, it's interesting. And it's an interesting texture. But, uh, you know, so, here we are. Oh my God. So we're, we're running around and we we're, were like, in the marketplace and then all of a sudden, boom. boom. And which was scary because you you're just in anything. a, imagine you're in a crowded market and then you just hear an explosion. It sounds like gunfire. And we saw not one, not two, but like a, a bunch of people kind of like duck and cover. scared. Yeah. yeah. They were like, what was that? Because yeah. I was trying to watch the time because I knew fireworks start around 9.30, but 9.30 came and I was worried they weren't going to do them because it was a little windy, 9.30 passed. They started late, but um, I'm not going to lie. This place is magical at night and the fireworks show standing in front where the Falcon is, is really cool. Really cool. So, I mean, we were, I was, I, you know, I said, once the fireworks start, the area around the Falcon is just going to be like a concert. Yeah. You know, it, it is standing room only. You're, and they tell you 
moving, moving, packing, yeah. pushing, moving. Stay out of the walkways, you know, off the stairs. There's some poor guy at the top of the stairs just yelling. Yeah, just off the yelling. stairs, off and the stairs. People the were turning time. around and yelling at him to shut up <laughs> because they were he's ruining their video. Yeah. You just hear a guy shrieking in the back, you're blocking the walkways, yeah. keep moving, please move. Yeah, but it was weird because the area in front of um, Docking Bay 7, the restaurant, is got a railing where you're elevated. Like the the I- yeah. idyllic place to, to watch this, they have is completely there. blocked they so that you do can't. not, you may not, and it must be for fire code or something. But they didn't want you on the stairway. But they, you get They were it. like, get down, get yeah. down and push in. But like when this is open to free-for-all, I don't know what you expect this to be like. No. Mayhem is what I expect. No, exactly. You can't hear any of the music. And what's kind of eerie is you hear the fireworks, but everyone is standing there and it is silent. It's pretty wild. It was weird because you can't hear any of the Main Street music. And I think you could actually stand um, closer to in the middle where Doc Anders is. You could probably see this and you could see the other side. So they seem to fire the fireworks out of two sections because there were fireworks happening to our right on top of the fireworks happening mm-hmm. here, which I thought was very interesting um, because the uh, standing on Main Street, you can't tell that. Yeah. So I don't know so, where I mean, they fire the fireworks. Sense. I mean, they're trying to, it's a big place. Them. They're trying to spread them out. They're trying to get everyone a, a, a view yeah. so that no one place is the only place you can yeah. see them. And we've never stood on Main Street to watch. We no. always... Hell no. We always just run between rides because everyone else is standing oh, still no. watching the rides. You know, but like, we, we're there a lot. We see fireworks. Like, yeah. if this is... I mean, this might be the highlight thing of your day. I don't know. But we're not... I'm not... I can't... I can't stand there and watch but fireworks. But fireworks here, standing here, is really cool. It's the only place that we've ever just stood actually still watched. and actually stood there and watched them. And we didn't we didn't even watch the whole show. We no, just watched some of we them. T- we took off. My neck hurt after looking up. I was like, okay, I'm done. Yep. And <laughs> but then, it was still uh, going on and yep. stuff. And then we rocked it onto the Millennium Falcon. Yep. So it was. So this was what we wrote it. How many times? Once? Twice. Oh, no, the first time. Previously once. Once. We did it once. And then this time, it's right around, what is it, like 11, like 11, th- I think it was 11, 11 when 15? we read it for the first time. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe, maybe a little later than that. Sure. And there was no line. I mean, it was, the wait was however it long it took you to, minutes, you know. 20 minutes, yeah. but it did not. No. So the line was however long it took you to walk through the queue. Which was a good five minutes. And then Easy. they kind of put you in one group. Yeah. And then they split you, right? So you're, if you've seen the videos, you're kind of in a group mm-hmm. that is kind of what I would describe as like if you go to the Haunted Mansion, the big room where they put you in the elevator. Yeah. That is kind of like the Hondo section. And then they split you off from there into go left or go right. Yeah. And Similar then. To Guardians. As right. Well. And then you kind of go through another mini queue when you're, where you're in line. And then they put you in the flight crew. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, Ash and I are hanging out together. Some lady is like, hey, is there a group of three? What are you guys? Group of four. What are you guys? Group of three. What are you guys? And we're like, a two. group of two. And they're like, come on up. Guess yeah. who gets to be engineers again? Yeah. Cause we got a group of four up here and there you go. Here's yeah. your engineer uh, passes. And I'm like, oh, dude. Again, you know, riding this ride as a as a couple of two if you're just a couple you're i don't you're, know what you you're do screwed. You're screwed. If, if you can go with friends or if you have an odd number you're guaranteed but thankfully the kids we were with we were with a group of four and they were like 14 year olds and i was like i don't know they were young know. i was like oh dude like you could see the the hurt on my face <laughs> and one of the kids goes oh dude do you want to be uh the gunner the one yeah i was like kid. all i've ever been is the engineer he's like oh yeah okay just yeah he here. didn't seem to care no, maybe they had ridden the he, a million times or yeah. he's like here you go yeah you be the gunner and i'm like yeah. okay and the girl was like do you guys have what you want i'm like well we wanted to be pilots but She's, we weren't gonna take that from them. right so she was like so we we both switched right we got so gunners. we so we were basically the gunners for our second discovered was that uh being a gunner isn't that much better than being an engineer you can see better but that's about it you're just you're mashing just a button awkwardly you, like one button one square awkward to push button so you can either you can either lean back so imagine sitting 
So wait, okay. So I was the f- I was the left gunner, right? You were the right gunner. I was the right gunner. Okay. So your left you can use your left hand and turn your body <laughs> yeah. so that you can't see anything or you can awkwardly lean back <laughs> and kind of hit it with your janked up for me. I have a destroyed elbow. No. I uh my my arm has been my right arm has been destroyed from 15 plus years of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Yeah. And so I didn't think about that as I I'm trying either. to mash the button with my disgusting poor elbow. When I tried to mash it with my left hand because I was on the left side, I was having a hard time and I don't have arm problems. So no. I, I was like, ah, oh, damn, we should have we switched spots here. Yeah. But it's really, you know, I was like, well, this is just as bad. So I was like, well, yeah. so now we're like... So I guess being the pilot is the only thing that doesn't suck. Yeah. Smash cut to we're like, I was pissed. I was like, oh, man, you know, okay. So we literally just walked out the exit and then just got right back in line. Because no, there is no line. No, at this there's point. no one at line. It's, it's 1130 or so at night mm-hmm. and we're just rocking and rolling. So we walk back up and we kind of maneuvered. We were like, listen, we got to get into, there was a group of four in front of us in the Hondo section right there was a, it a was, group of six it was no, almost it was, a group of six and i was like okay there okay. are four and then there are two right we have to get behind this group of six so we're in the front of right. the next group exactly because and then we get pilot right. no matter what right so exactly it worked. exactly worked like we planned so the group goes in and they you know the poor girl who saw like the same girl yeah was like would you guys like to be pilots and i go hell yes please, <laughs> yes, please thank you and the best part of the night probably was we got assigned. There's like, were there any other people behind us? It was just this poor, this no, other guy. No, there were people behind us, but the group behind us was a group of five, okay. and then a group of three, and then I guess there was a gentleman and um, his his friend who were a group of two. Right. So we got paired up with a guy who was in a moving wheelchair, paralyzed either completely um from the neck down it's hard to tell he wasn't able to push buttons right he couldn't move his hands or anything also had to be restrained his chest so he wouldn't fall forward right so we yeah so what what ended up happening was we go in we're sitting at the controls and we're just messing around and the poor i can't imagine that they're friends the, like oh, it, the it, gentleman and I, the girl. I was like he, they. I couldn't tell if they were related. They didn't look like they were related, um, or if this was his aide or something. It was a but, young guy. He was yeah. in his like maybe mid to late twenties, you know. But she had like a little headband on. She yeah. was having fun. She, it did seem so. Like all she we know was, is she didn't hate Star Wars. She doesn't hate Star yeah. Wars. That's that's all we know. But I, I, I don't know. She was very concerned about him. She and was very concerned. She, very anxious, which made it uncomfortable. And just made it like, and Disney, the 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 the, the, the girls that were doing the kind of, you know, the cast ushering, yeah, running the thing, were, had no concern about getting him in no. as he needed to. And be. so they kind of put us on the falcon ride that i think is kind of reserved for people with different with disabilities you know and because there was there was the, the dog exit is crate out there to was the yeah. elevator all the accoutrement yeah. that you're used to seeing as the the you know the, the, other the, the service there. dog crate is there yeah. other wheelchairs um we it saw was wide enough for him to wheel his wheelchair into the ride right. completely so he could have been a pilot if he wanted to but she's yelling he is a transfer i need time to transfer him do you guys understand you know and i didn't really know what that meant we were like okay yeah no we were like oh we don't care i mean you know yeah. no big deal or whatever it, it took him a while it, to it, get in the seat but i mean this poor well, guy took, is we were i was trying not to turn around because i, I didn't want to add any tension either. so we don't we didn't see the process no but we think this woman literally just lifted this dude up because i don't think the disney chick helped no and she, i don't think she and, can and, and they were like now go, can you move me this way can you can you lift yeah. me this way can and this lady hand. was fanning herself at the end of it because yeah. she was exhausted and uh and she's like can we ride it twice can we do like it took After so long or time. whatever no no no. Yeah. She, before we even oh, started oh yeah i missed that part. she's like yo can can you check to see if it's okay if we ride it twice because it took so long to get him in here or something yeah and she was like, yeah, no, I'll figure it out or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'll, I'll go see. And so the ride starts. 
and we're you know we're just rocking and rolling so we're flying it for the first time yeah. but we and i guess they turned the gunner section on auto yes yeah, so, so because there were no people sitting there's there. no people in our seats so right so the guy took the right engineer yep. the aid is in the other engineer spot yeah and we got no gunners no gunners. we got like automatic which is basically worse than nothing i'd rather have a, um. a four-year-old smashing the button <laughs> than than the than the just, I didn't notice it that bad. It was just going like, mer, mer, oh, was it? Mer, mer. Like there must I was be just some. To fly. Oh, <laughs> so that was another thing. It's like one. So what was we kind of swim? So when we started, I was on the right pilot, yes. which is is it up or down or left and right? You were up and down. I was up and down, and then I did the hyperdrive, and then Ash I was, was left the and left right pilot, and the break. which is left and right and a break, which doesn't exist. Breaks, yeah, it did remember breaks on the Millennium Falcon. No, that doesn't exist in the middle of the so But I what? did break, so we didn't run into one of the things. Whatever. So <laughs> we play, you know, and, and they go, oh, yeah, no, it's fine. Like, you can do it again. And so we asked them. We were like, hey, do you want to fly? Well, so we were like, okay, we'll see you guys later. And and they were like, okay, can you, do you guys want to ride it again? Like, you, you waited and, yeah. you know, and they needed someone to fly the damn thing. I'm pretty sure you need a pilot, but you maybe may, not. Uh, maybe I you can know. do everything else, but you need pilots. So we were like, we don't know. And I'd love to, I'll just do it again. Yeah, we didn't so, have to go run through the line no, again. No, yeah. So or we were like, not being pilots again. And I didn't want them to not have a ride because no. of us or something. Yeah. So we just, just we switched hook, spots. hook it up. So I went to the left side. She went to the right side. We played it again. It was um, fun. Yeah. You know, and then we were like, all right, see you guys. Have a good one. You know? And uh, went on about our merry way. But uh, pro tip, you know? Pro, yeah. <laughs> if, if, you, you if you know someone who is disabled or has a otherly handicap abled. otherly abled very very abled he was he was very abled um he just yeah we, we tried him. to get him to pilot we were like we don't care how yeah, long we're it like, takes do you want to move up here i was pilot? like dude there's a lot of leg room up here he wasn't i think able to hit the button so i think that he was, was like no nah, don't worry about it i'm good i was like dude i nothing matters like, do you want to just sit up here yeah and i'll i'll i'll, I'll control the whole though. thing yeah. If you just want to sit up here, because the view is cool when you're in the yeah. pilot seat. You see the best. Though, you know, right? yeah. You, just, you want the chewy spot? Man, I will just be, f I will be <laughs> rocking. I got long arms, so I can rock and roll. I could probably do both jobs, left and right controls. Yes, you could. I think, I think I could. I have the wingspan. Yeah, I don't think I could, but um, it is weird piloting and you're only having one directional it, thing that it you makes are doing. no sense. Because, like, I feel like we kind of tried to, I'm like, oh, look left. Oh, let's go. Up. Like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to fly a thing I, independently. up and down, you have no controls. You don't feel like you're in control. Left and right, you actually feel like it's kind of moving with how yeah. you're going. I felt my up and down a little bit. Not just because I think I pushed down no, intentionally. No. And I, like, when we got to the asteroid section, yeah. I felt a little bit. I, but When I was going up and down, it, it it was just like it felt completely on rails, so that it feels like nothing you do really matters. So up uh, left and right, you totally feel like you're kind a of a little bit, you know. yeah. But the whole thing is the story is exactly the same. So one time, no. So the first when the first time we went, we had a full flight crew. We got yeah. two canisters two coaxium. of coaxium. Yes, coaxium? the other coax coaxium. I, I have no idea. Doesn't matter. The other two times, or. The, when we were gunners, we got two. When we got gunners, we got two. We had a full crew. Everyone was working. And the only reason we didn't get two is because the gentleman couldn't hit the harpoon, so we couldn't tag the, f right. the final one. So, you know. But, like, the story in general is essentially the same. Like, right. you can't crash. You can't change course. Nothing changes that drastically between red, riding the red. No. And, and we, we also, I was kind of jazzed when I heard about, like, the... The exit changes depending on how well you did, and yeah, me the too. four times that we've run it, I don't think it's it's been different every. It's, it's been exactly the, it's, the same. yeah, it's been the same every time. I think the so next time know. we try to run into everything possible as pilots and see what happens. Well, we'll just find some children again and just rock and roll with that. Well, like they they she pretty much wrecked it a lot, right? But you, it's like you need to fly it terribly, and your engineers need to not do anything. What we need is is professionals. Who do it really tankers? well? Because I want to see Hondo oh. explain how it all went perfect, and oh. here's all your money, and you didn't take any damage. But I suspect that that's. I don't know if that's a thing. No. So. Because I feel like when he was going over what damage we did, I feel like it was the same each time. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a different amount of money that he took for each time, but. Yeah. 
So the custom ones, yeah, customization where you get like your little credits. And yeah. Stuff but all in all, like, when we go back again, we have one more reservation. Please don't hate me, but I <sighs> lived on the Disney website when these went live. You guys would I really hate them. us if you learned that we had reservations we didn't even go to. That would be worse. Well, That'd be horrible. That so. had a That'd lot be terrible of to talk strings about. Yeah. to go through so, issues. So please we don't get. Yeah, there. we were like, uh, you want to get up? It's Sunday. It's eight a.m. Uh. Yeah, whole other drama involved in that. So. but anyway, but what are you going to ride the Millennium Falcon again? I, I would I ride we, it again? We've done everything, and not nothing is like. That I would never incredible. wait for it. No, never wait for it. I'd go at 11 o'clock again, walk straight through the line, and still try to plot and be a pilot. If you can. If I can. I would honestly... Get behind a group of six. I would rather be an engineer than the gunner, though. I, I don't, agree. I've, I've, I don't I've like the gunner. Re- I never well. thought I would say that, but... I mean, neither. Gunner's, gunner's gunner the sucks. worst. Gunner is actually the perfect job for, like, a little kid. Yes. For, like, eight, six and under push one button yeah a bunch just of times. slam this button you know they're perfect you know and so how long you, till this ride breaks you know they're gonna have to replace those buttons i i can't but, imagine. uh you know just if you're scoping it out and you have a family maybe you got you know two and a half kids three kids or whatever you got an uncle you got your mom you know wife husband brother whoever yeah strategize yeah i would it, it's hard, but you do get set into a group of I don't know how many people. The downfall is everyone just puts their damn kids up as the pilots. Yeah, always. No. Uh-uh. No, honey. No. Well, not not ours. No. Ain't ain't nobody got time for that. Um, so. so we rode well, the like, Falcon. If oh, we no. didn't ride it again, I frankly wouldn't no, care. No. You know, it's, it's, it's not a, a big thunder, Thunder Mountain. It's what, not a thrill ride. No, but what, like... Big Thunder. Big Thunder, the Matterhorn, and space, space. Hyper, even Hyperspace Mountain. All I could do multiple times every time. Not really. It's They're fun. Yeah. They're exhilarating. This isn't really exhilarating? Like, this it's not really... Star Tours has more thrill to it Kinda than this right drop does. you, run you around. You have no drop sensation, really. There's one small drop, but you don't even feel... Even like you it's lift not off even, your seat. It's not even close to like if you remember the Back to the Future ride. Oh, rest <laughs> in peace, bro. I never re- got oh, to ride that. Oh, but. so good. It's better than Star Tours, better than Han Solo or Millennium Falcon ride. Smuggler's Run. Smuggler's Run. So. Um, but I know. would have to say what we would do again um, is maybe the lightsaber. Mm-hmm. If there was another thing that we wanted. The little token thing that we got. You I'll, I'll talk slam about a that? picture in. It's called the uh, Aspira. So if you go to the Droid Depot, they sell a really cool metal kind of gift card type thing. And you have to put a minimum of $100 on it. Um, but you're going to spend 100 bucks anyway. So if you're, if you're going to get a Droid, go get one of these things. Um, they've got like a box of them because they're just, you know, they're going through them. Sometimes they sell out, we've heard. So go grab one if you can throw a hundred bucks on it. You know, I was like, you know, it's a hundred dollar minimum. I go, yeah, no problem. Um, and we used it all. Did we not? Yeah, we put it on. We used it for the lightsaber. You came and brought it to me. So this is our separation of duties. I went lightsaber reservation. He went and got one of these gift cards. Yep. And I was tempted to, and I, I might still go put more money on it and use it because it's really fun to pay in a different you way. Hand, you just hand, hand these this people this piece this, of metal. And it's a cool, even if it's worthless, it has no money on it. It's one of the cooler things that we've gotten. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's it's cool. I'm holding it right now. It's You look it's, at it every day. It's it's, it's a it's coin, a, it's metal, essentially. It, 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 it has, I think, a QR code on the back of it that they scan. Yeah, it has, it has just a barcode on the back that they scan with a handgun um at the register it says star wars galaxy as edge on it disney gift card and then it has a very cool black spires outpost kind of logo on the front yep. and i'm cool. sure the language written on it if i translate it using my disney play app which i used more this time <sighs> mm-hmm. it would tell me what it was so that was one thing we got a cardboard card mm-hmm. after i paid for the lightsaber and i was able to translate the whole thing so it said savvy's workshop on it it said um group gray 
but all in the language. Arabic. Yes, the language I that think, they're right. using in there. But I did that on my Disney Play app. So get acquainted with it while you wait in line. It's we were, really we were fun. Playing with it before we uh, were we the the thing we waited the longest for, other than the Savvy's Workshop popcorn. Yes, getting mouse the bot. getting the damn mouse bot popcorn, um, or popped grains. Popped grains. They had a very enthusiastic oh, cast member monitoring the line. Um, and uh, ugh. So I, we got it. We. We wait in line, I don't know, what, 15 minutes? Probably, 15, At 20 least. minutes. And we get the popcorn. Ash is violently, not, you get violently ill eating popcorn. You were yes. even tempted to try it. I just um, wanted to know what it was. It's, it's, I can't, it's a weird, people have said Fruit Loops, people have said like Fruity Pebbles. The, there's very coated pieces, and then there's lightly kind of just normal popcorn pieces. And the really, I would describe them as like a, a candied corn almost. It's it's like, they're kind of intermixed into it. So it's not the whole thing isn't these super, super flavorful pieces. But I kind of wanted to try each of them. There was purple. There was red. The red one tasted kind of like a Fruit Loop. The purple one was was very odd the tasting. The one was spicy. I licked them. I didn't, I didn't think anything was spicy. I think it all just tasted like. But the red coated one to me tasted like a licking it tasted like a crayon that had crayon. flavor to it. Crayon, crayon. A red crayon. Crayon. A Crayola. Crayon. It tasted <laughs> awful. It was great. I ate. I don't know three pieces. It's a it's a decent sized bag. It's a big yeah. It's not it's like a, a small, small movie theater popcorn bag, right? Which is more which popcorn is than any human needs. Right. How much do you need, people? So a literally, lot. we're walking. That we we get the popcorn. I'm like, Ugh, this is disgusting. <laughs> a woman comes up to me, goes, "Oh, where did you get that?" I took it. I just take it out and I hand it to her. I took it out of the mouse spot and I go, "Here you go." And she goes, "Oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, thanks." And I just walk away. And she's like, "Oh, that guy just gave me this." <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, dude, I don't want it." I was like, "I can't eat it." And this lady is like kind of posted up sitting like oh you didn't even want the popcorn huh you just wanted the mouse i was like yeah pretty yeah. much but also i was like it also just tastes terrible i, I can't eat this i don't want to waste it i, I don't want to throw it on the ground eating it though which was no I, I saw people really enjoying it which i just couldn't believe it doesn't taste good i know it's star wars and you're like trying to have fun but i cannot pretend to like something that tastes like trash well something that didn't taste like trash oh, was segment. Rondo's roasters. No, Ronto's roasters. Ronto's roasters. It destroyed that. Yeah, Sorry. it was great. So we, so we yeah, we As ran everyone's and got one. watching the fireworks. Yeah, we, we no line. got a snack. Yeah. We got a snack and we got the Ronto wrap. It took no time. There's no there's no wait. Which is and too... we got sarlacc juice. No, it was a sour sarlacc. Oh, there damn. <laughs> sarlacc the juice? Name. That would be the worst. <laughs> beverage to try to sell someone sarlacc juice so sour sarlacc and it was like was lime amazing made. it was like it's 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 better than like don't get the blue milk no blue milk gross this was go, really good go refreshing. to this and just yeah it's like a uh it was like a it limeade with sour mix and maybe like passion fruit passion kind fruit of flavor i love passion like fruit I, over I love ice you know just oh. nice and icy beverage for it was you so good and then the ronto's roasters was a sausage mm -hmm. uh, po like a polish sausage but not as uh, not as thick it was it was like a a nicer hot dog like a like it like a gourmet it if you go to a wegman's or you went to like a gelson's and they have like the or whole foods and they kind of have like the the nice gourmet the nice hot, hot dogs, dogs and yeah. stuff it was kind of like that and then there were like slices of like what tasted like roast pork or gyro meat type stuff. It wasn't. No, it, wasn't, it, wasn't it wasn't lamb. It, it it was. It had a ro okay. It had a Cuban sandwich kind of. Okay. Um, feel to it. And then it had it. coleslaw on it. Mm -hmm. no, it a and in a pita, a right. regular sized pita. We shared this. Mm -hmm. Totally could have eaten one myself and been very full, but it was delicious. Mm -hmm. It was a nice snack to share. Yeah. I probably didn't share the drink very well because that might have been my favorite part. Do we get AP discount for that one or no? I think we did. Yeah, we were able to use our credit or our AP no, discount. discount. They go, do you have a discount? I go, here you go. Oh, that's right. I can't get the lingo straight. And it's not. It's, sure not it's not always. Uh, it's not always the same. We've been asked like. I was at Doc Ondar's buying like the two other crystals we needed, 
And the lady was like, uh, and I gave her my credit card. I gave her the AP card. She goes, do you have your passport? And I was like, oh, you need my ID? Here you go. <laughs> so I gave her all this yeah. nonsense. And then I was, I've been asked for my credentials when I go to sign. I was asked, the like, the, I need the father's name. I need the father's yeah. name. They want you to sign this. Uh, and you just go, oh, I sign this? And they go, yeah. So if you guys could, if you're listening, pick something and stick to it. One language. Just, or not, or, or just be normal. I'm like, I'm so done. I'm fine with the like lightsaber being Femi and, you know, speaking in a language, I guess. But like, if you're going to someone and you go, where are the restrooms? And they give you a hard time about what you're asking oh, for. Go fuck yourself. I don't want to blow up her spot. But as we were walking, because <laughs> of course, like we haven't talked about the cantina again, because oh, yeah. we didn't get in. Of course. Like it's just, it's a nightmare situation. They haven't figured out how to do it. So that no. like, we went back after yeah, I got it was, my I mean the place was shutting down. They were literally like, you know, we, it, so we didn't get off the Falcon ride until twelve oh five. Yeah, everything was closed. So you could not go do anything. So no. they were trying to kick people out of the cantina, and we go up to the lady that's standing outside. I was like, can we can we just go in and take a picture real quick, and I then just, just want to look? I just want to see what's in there. She's like, oh yeah, okay, we're kicking everybody out. Everyone, I'm sorry. she she made it sound like everyone was already out. And, and they uh, weren't because I saw people leave while we people were leaving, and the door was opening, and I was like, "Oh, what's going on in there?" I'm like, and "Can't we just pick your head in?" But she was done. She was kind she of was like, no longer in character. Nope. She was just like, "Yo, my feet hurt. I can't wait to get home." Yeah, you know, kind of just. Uh, but very nice. No, very nice. But she was just shooting the shit with us. You yeah, know? just kind of like we were like, "What's the realistic? Like, how do you get in?" Because we were like, "Dude, this is the second time we've come, and we haven't been able to get in." And she's like. How did you guys get so many reservations? Even I was trying, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah. she was not in character, and we really appreciated yeah. that fact. No, totally. And so our next trip, that is going to be our main thing, is we're going to head straight <clears throat> to the cantina yep. to get on this mysterious wait list. Ash is going to stand in line however long it takes while I'm out there running around. So you're not in line. So you'd get in line to get your name on a wait list, and they text you when you can come back to then stand in line. To go in. To wait for your turn to go in. And then you try to get, get to the bar and get a something. drink. Yep. Which none of that I care about. I would just like to go inside. Right. We don't and see what it looks yeah, like. No. I will get a drink if we wait in the whole line and get the stupid Bubba or not Bubba, um, Boba drink thing that they say are eggs oh, I, yeah. and popping fruit, pop rocks on top. That's what I'll get. But am I going to spend fifty dollars for a stupid container? Get the porg, the porg mug. one. Get no. the porg mug. I'm not going to do you, it. You am I going to? Sp- spend all the money to get an alcoholic drink i again don't really care all that much but i want to go in i want to see what it looks like so third time's a charm hopefully that'll be it has to be if you're going on a trip i pray you have more than one day or you have several adult people to go get the reservations for lightsabers and for the cantina split up do that be on a path do that first then do everything else yeah and they did. I feel like they did a better job. The first time we just ran in and no one knew where anything was. Yep. This time they had people prepping everyone in the horde that yep. was outside. This is where this is. This is where that is. You know. And we were in the okay, middle. go to the left. Go for Sarsavis. Go to the left for this. Go to the right. Canteen. They were directing everybody. We were down <clears throat> at Critter Country entrance, so there was tons of people. In line, which I'm going to guarantee is probably every entrance except your 8 a.m. entrance. You start from Mm -hmm. down there. Um, And I just, we separated and I just V, I went straight for it. I knew where I was going. I I just went straight and I got in probably, I don't know, maybe 50 people were in front of me. That's crazy. Maybe more. No, that's so crazy. I mean, you really didn't get there super late and you nope. and you were probably in like the last ass end of reservations so i think i stood there for how long were you getting the gift card mm, it took a little while because it 15, was 20 yeah so i went to the droid depot to go check on our poor bb unit who's i don't know if he's broken but we like in the first video we kind of talked about it how um he just goes to sleep mode after five minutes and then he will not reactivate unless you take him apart, turn him off and on, on and mm-hmm. then uh, hit a button. Yeah. So that I was like, that can't possibly be the way it's designed. I went and talked to them. They said, oh, that seems weird. I don't know. Uh, you know, and this was what's driving me crazy. This poor lady's trying to help me. She will not break character 
and it's using all the vocab and all the craziness. And I'm like, lady, I just spent a hundred dollars on this thing. Can you just talk to me like a human? And I don't want to have to translate and decipher your nonsense in my head as we're trying to figure this out. It was crazy. Yeah. So we tried their tips of a hard reset. Um, it didn't, it didn't work. work. Nope. They said so, to repair the remote. They taught us how to do that. Didn't also, didn't work. do anything unless no. we're doing it wrong. So, we'll, so we're, we're going to bring the homeboy back. with us, turn him loose, and, and have the Imagineers see. try to figure him out. Yeah. I'm thinking they need to give me a new internal piece, which is fine. Um, if he's not supposed to go to sleep after five minutes and then not be woken up without turning him on and off, which sounds ridiculous. Um, so I expect for them to give me a new piece. Mm. I called them, called their, uh, customer service line also. They said all I had to do was send them a picture of the droid and my receipt, tell them what's wrong and they'll address it. But she said it would just take a while. It could take two weeks for them to get me a replacement part, but... At least if you went once and you ran into this issue, there is a course of action to get this corrected. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're lucky that we live in the area. We're, I mean, we live... We're lucky we have more close. than one reservation. We have multiple times, and so we'll get it figured out. But yeah, this would it would break my heart, man. If you were a kid or you bought this for yourself, I don't care if you're 50 and you, this was your... But it's you annoying shot to open you, that up to no, turn it on and off. Yeah. This it, is it, silly. It's terrible. So we're working on it. We're working on it. So, but, uh, I have to say, night is my favorite. Night. Go at night. Go at night. It's so much, I mean, infinitesimally better. Yeah. So much cooler looking. You really do feel immersed. I never felt like I was in Star Wars the first time we went. I never felt like that. I never really felt like that at night either, because I'm not insane. But, but you don't at night like it feels, you, yeah, you feel so much, it, it feels like a, you know the night market the lights strung yeah. up i mean it feels really cool like a christmas market style kind yeah. of all the lights very on the cool. spires on the ships everything mm -hmm. that's outside is lit in some fashion it's very cool so if i had to pick one that's what i would do if, yeah, yeah it's cool to see it during the day but if i had to pick one night would be it night fireworks, and it also the coolness, crowds are less it's way not less hot kids. i can't imagine if we went today it was 85 here where we live in, in Anaheim well, we is live, about a yeah. half an hour away. So we live a little bit closer More to inland. the beach. Um, I beach bet it was nice and hot there. Yep. So I'm looking forward to going back. We you know have one thing on our checklist, the cantina, and just enjoy it. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions, uh, let us know in the comments. Um, any requests on something any requests, you want us to try? What do you need? You want something? I'll sell it on eBay for you. Make me direct We sense. tried to go. We, we ran and went to go see if we could find a black kyber crystal. Every yeah. single person is Seriously. huddled around all the red crystals. Um, you know, we didn't we didn't even know the black kyber crystal was a thing the first time we went. And we kind of since learned that, oh, no, there's black ones that are kind of hidden in the red. And I was just, oh, what are these going for on eBay? $500? A lot of the stuff is going Who on Who are you eBay savages? Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of gross, but I get it. I get it. It's exclusive. Um, I'm grossed out by the people that are that are like hawking, hawking it on the maps. You know, they're selling everything, but like for crazy markups, man. Yeah, it's very, very much more than it should be. Yeah. So just I don't know. I mean, I guess it's cheaper than flying out. And if you really want one, definitely, you know. But just know that they're marking it up four times as much as it needs to be. These things aren't gonna run out. The toys, the holocrons. Yeah, like, if you can gonna hang in there. Them. Yeah. Well, and also once. Once the masses can get in and they open the other one in Florida that's just going to have t the same amount of stuff, Yeah. I don't think you're going to be able to get away with selling no. the stuff on eBay for the the crazy I prices. Agree. You know, So twice as many people will be doing it. it. Stuff is already starting to trend down. So my black Kyber crystal, I saw one go for 350 today instead of 500 So stuff is getting down. But yeah. who are you people? Are you, being, are you paying $500 for a black Kyber crystal? I don't know, man. I mean, like hit me up in the comments. Said, if you bought one for yeah. 400, 500 bucks, hit me up. Because I got a mouse bot that I think would look great on your shelf. Yes, mouse bot was twenty dollars, included popcorn. So just remember, the Kyber crystal cost fifteen dollars, and that is it. That's it. Hang in there, baby. One five. Hang in there. Yep. Don't be paying fifty bucks for it. Five hundred bucks. Make a trip if you want. If this is something you're dying for. Go for it. If you can Do send it. Ash a passionate comment, maybe she'll she'll buy it and she'll send it to you in the mail. 
Yes. <laughs> if you're dying for something, we can make a deal, I'm sure. Ash is, is willing to help you out. And I'm not so. going to mark you up a million dollars for it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. She's a hero. One subscriber, one mail package. That's Sounds how it good. works. There yep. you go. Subscribe. Subscribe and Ash will send you whatever you want from Galaxy's Edge. We'll keep you updated on our next trip. We very much enjoy doing this for you guys and we hope you enjoy listening. Cool. Thanks so much, guys. Leave us uh, a note in the comments. Hit us up on the disorderly.com. Follow us on all the appropriate uh, social media links. We'll link below. I'll try, I'll, I'll throw in a link to the previous video in here somewhere so you can kind of take a look and uh, kind of see all the different parts of the experience. Have a good one, guys. Thanks, guys. Subscribe and like.